loop quantum gravity is a quantum theory of of gravitation it's a quantum theory of space time so according to general relativity like i said space time is this four dimensional fabric in which e inside which events occur so it is the stage or the platform or the arena upon which various events occur in our universe and even in string theory the space is the background on which strings vibrate one dimensional string strings so this is a new theory it says that the geometric fabric of space time is not continuous it is itself quantized it is made up of discrete quanta of space time bits of space time so that's what loop quantum gravity says and it says that distance itself has a minimum quantity which is 10 raised to minus 20 uh, minus 33 centimeters and this uh, this theory says that time itself is quantized time too has a minimum quantity 10 raised to minus 43 seconds and according to loop quantum gravity lqg the name suggests loops so it says that space time is made up of finite loops extremely small loops and the intersection of these loops is where these quantum uh, volumes of space reside each volume is 10 raised to minus 99 centimeters in size it's a very, very, very small volume of space. So the intersection of these finite loops is where these quantum volumes of space reside. And in the terminology of this theory, large quantities of these loops of space-time are called spin networks. Spin networks. So space is defined by the geometry of these spin networks, of the spin network. And time is defined by the movements that rearrange the spin network. So time is an emergent property of the geometry of the spin network. It, it emerges when the spin network moves. And this spin network, when it is combined with the, uh, with the quantum movements, that is time. So the spin network, when combined with its movements, is called the spin foam. So time is quantized in the spin foam. It ticks like a clock and each tick is 10 raised to minus 43 cent seconds long. And mass and energy distort shapes and volumes of the spin network. So this distorts space and time because any movement of these quanta also affects the time quanta. So time is the movements of this volume quanta. And the distortion of space and time is what we perceive as gravity. So that is LQG, loop quantum gravity. In a nutshell, it says the whole universe is a spin network. So LQG, loop quantum gravity, predicts a big bounce. It says that the universe will not have a, will essentially bounce back if it contracts. Because, see, according to the Big Bang theory, what we have is that uh, the universe is supposed to have been, have originated as a, as a zero dimensional point like structure, a singularity. And according to LQG, uh, the smallest uh, allowed volume of space is 10 raised to minus 99 cubic centimeters. So because of that, singularity uh, is not possible and therefore the universe in the future will contract again and then it will bounce back and, and explode, so to say, or expand violently or very, very, very fast in an event that will look like a Big Bang. So it predicts a big bounce cosmology. So essentially, loop quantum gravity is able to, in a way, tell you what happened before the Big Bang. There was a big crunch kind of... Uh, a big collapse, a big crunch. So the previous universe, the previous uh, incarnation of our universe contracted upon itself after a period of time and it went down to this minimum allowed quantum of volume, 10 raised to minus 99 cubic centimeters, and then it bounced back. So that's what LQG says. Is it proven? No, as of now, we don't have sufficient proof of it. It is a good theory. It is a theory that is taken seriously and it needs to be refined further and it needs to make predictions that are testable. As of now, we don't have any significant testable predictions, but it's a very good and uh, very interesting theory. So that is loop quantum gravity in, in a nutshell.